I made Doodle Jump in Excel. Why? Because I have a simple mission to prove that Microsoft Excel is a game engine. How? Well, Excel has its own coding language capability. That's how. In the form of VBA, or Visual Basic for Application. All of the code in this game is open for all of you to see at any time. Gameplay components for Doodle Jump. First, we need to understand the components of Doodle Jump and work out what I'm trying to put together in Excel. The key game features of the real Doodle Jump are a continuous jumping mechanic, score tracking, real platforms, fake platforms, platform, a shooting mechanic, moving enemies, and power up. Now I'm going to be honest with you, I had trouble implementing a couple of these features. So the shooting mechanic is gone, and the power ups are gone. But I did manage the rest. Shall we see a side by side comparison of the two? Don't forget that my Excel game inspired by the real Doodle Jump is available for downloading for free at any time at the link in the description below. Now let me show off a few of the features that I've put together in my Excel game. First, the movement mechanic is controlled using the left and right keyboard arrows. Secondly, the falling mechanic. If you fall by more than five cells, at any one time, you will trigger a game over, like the real Doodle Jump. Thirdly, the monster mechanic. If you occupy the same cell as the enemy, then you will trigger a game over. Now, sometimes this mechanic is a bit jank, as the enemy character and the player character sprites occupy more than one cell. But who doesn't love a little bit of jank? Platform tiles. We have green, blue, and brown platform. The brown platforms act as the unstable or fake platforms in the game. Fifth is the victory and high score mechanics. Only on successfully reaching the top of the game, which trust me, is a lot harder than it looks, triggers a victory condition and sets a new highest score. So those are some of the key features. I have a whole bunch of exciting games coming soon, so why not consider subscribing and sharing this video? It really does make a world of difference for me. Let's play a little bit, shall we? I must say I'm pleasantly surprised at how well the gameplay feels and looks. Don't forget this is Excel, a spreadsheet tool most often used for budgeting, schoolwork, or in job. It also has just about the right level of difficulty spike so that reaching the victory is difficult enough. You can also change the level quite a lot as you play within some key boundaries. Firstly, you can change the player character image by unhiding the player characters tab and changing the image under the picture ribbon. You can also change the monster sprites easily as well, but all within the game hub map. Just unhide it, change each picture within the picture ribbon as you please, but don't forget to hide both of these after you are done. You can also customize the level as much as you like, changing the location of any green, brown and blue block and the game shall continue to run. Just make sure to leave the topmost and bottommost blocks where they are. Now let's talk about some key VBA macros and formula. For those interested, the VBA is unlocked and visible for, for all of you when you download the game. But let's talk about three key elements here that make this game possible. The first is the jump and gravity element. The check for jump function detects if the player is standing on a jumpable platform, either green or blue shape, and triggers a jump of six cells. It adds realism to the game's gravity mechanic. This is the center of gameplay mechanics, ensuring that the player only jumps when on a platform, just like in the original Doodle Jump. The apply gravity function simulates gravity by pulling the player down by one cell every game tick if there is no platform directly below the player. It ensures that the player constantly moves downwards unless they land on a platform. It adds a level of difficulty and realism to the game to time their jumps carefully. The second is screen scrolling. This function ensures the game screen scrolls up dynamic as the player reaches new height, keeping the focus on the player while ensuring 25 rows above the highest point are always visible. This is important to provide the player with a clear view of where they are headed, enhancing their gameplay flow. The last and most important feature is the game loop or tick mechanic. This is the feature that triggers actions on display. It controls the time lag between input actions, player jump, gravity, enemy movement, and overall is the timer for the high score at the top. To put it simply, this game would not happen without the game loop or tick mechanic. So that together is the game. If you managed this far, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like or comment on this video and maybe watch another video on my channel. See you next time.